Hello everyone, this is Michelle Stelling with the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers. Welcome to the Sunday Snippets and in this segment uh, Karen is going to be teaching how to create really soft looking shadows. It's a really quick tip and it's probably more of an intermediate kind of a tip but I think you're really going to enjoy it. So stay tuned. So this is, um, I'm not going to get into this a whole lot but I want to show this to you because it's it, it's very cool and works really well many times. So see how this shadow, even though the opacity on the black looked good and the um, the depth of it was okay, it still looks really bad on this paper, right? I think it does anyway. So let's go ahead and click on this. And this is something that I didn't learn for a very long time. You can go ahead and change the color of this. I know some people will change it to gray or brown, but I like to change it to the color of the paper itself. Mm -hmm. So let's assume this is a paper. Click on this. It brings up your color picker option. Just drag your cursor into your document and click on the background color. And then if you click on this B for brightness, you'll get this color scheme. These are all the shades of the color that you have selected. And I just click on that triangle, drag it down a bit. It's going to make it a little darker. There's no set, um, uh, no set key for that or anything, just what looks good to you. And I think that looks good. That looks so much better than the black. Look at the black. I and always forget about that. Go back and change the color. And that's a really simple way to use the Photoshop Elements shadows that they provide for you and to be able to adjust them, you know, fairly quickly and easily. That's by adjusting the lighting angle, by adjusting the opacity and by adjusting the color. And Karen, you're probably going to cover this, but um, a couple people asked, can you copy and paste um, those to all your layers at one time if you want to? You can. To okay. do a uh, copy that, you would go right click on your layer style, come down, or the layer, come down to copy layer, st layer style, and then you would click on whichever layers you want. You could select two, three, whatever, by holding down the shift key, and then you'll just right click and paste layer style. Thank you. So now these should all be the same. 